guys, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 7 and 8 of season 4 of Working, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 and 3, 2, 1, go. What's up? What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Really? Okay, I thought that was not charging. Mm -mm -mm. That looks so good. This is what day? Day seven of my diet? I'm doing good! Oh my god! All I've been eating, like, ugh, what have I been eating? Like, I was nice enough to give myself, like, a treat. That's it. And I still have them. They're just in my kitchen. But, yeah, we're I'm having chicken tonight. And then I'm going to clean tomorrow, which sucks. I don't want to clean. You, ha you know there's days where you just don't really want to clean and do anything? That's me sometimes. Like, especially that's going to be me tomorrow. But, uh. Not even tomorrow. Uh, no, that's going to be me that whole this whole weekend. Because I'm probably going to be doing nothing but cleaning. All because my lovely father is trying to come here for Christmas. But I hope it's worth it. Because I have not seen him. in like a year possibly <laughs> yeah I mean, in a way, he's still helping Chin, but not really. <laughs> oh, really? Really? How much do you earn? I still love how determined IT is. I mean, he, he a little weird at times. Well, you know what? No. This whole cast is weird, but weird. Not in a bad way, in a good way. Because I still love them. But <laughs> they make me... Like, sometimes after I finish watching this show, I'm just like, what the fuck did I just watch today? Yeah, she sure does. I mean, okay. Jesus. You know, she is worse than any other debt collector. I, I can't even imagine, like, oh my god, because I'm not in debt, thank god. But, I, oh god. 
I love her, but still, once again, she scares me. I mean, I hope that he's able to pay all the money off by the end of this series because there is no continuing series. We're almost done with the show. Ah, baby! <laughs> oh, damn. Come here, Cud. Yeah. Oh, Can we just have an episode just about Hime? Like. That would be the best thing ever. Oh my god, yes! Go, baby! <laughs> He's so cute! Look at it! No precious. Come here, Cody. Mm. Hold on. What about it? Did you win something? I mean, she could raise up the price if she wanted to. Oh, no, is she home? You made her cry, ass. Exactly, because you made her cry. Who makes a girl cry? I mean, damn. That's like that one asshole who I hate. Who said, who thought he made me cry. I didn't cry, though, but like in my mind, I was. But seriously, don't make a girl cry. Yeah, when she was a kid. Yeah. I mean, it's possible, but you'll have no one to blame but yourself. Hmm? On the tickets? You <laughs> make it. Make it hear me! I mean, hello is a very... Everyone knows that word. <laughs> See, still, I've been wondering this since episode one. Episode one, episode two. Why the hell they just don't have a meeting... How it could be a Zoom call one day when everybody's not off. Well, yeah. On a Christmas break when everybody's, you know, off and it's like that. Everyone's on call. And we're like, right, we're going to learn English. <laughs> or at least teach him a little bit better of Japanese so he understands. Well, damn. <laughs> oh, my God. She Oh, honey. 
trying in forever. I know you think she wouldn't be like that, right? That's weird, but then... Well, you know, she ho he can't really, you know, repay your debt. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, she ho. That is a just Kasumi Aqua, what's her face from when a girlfriend ish. I mean, poor baby, you gotta feel bad for her. <laughs> really hurt the crap out of myself. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. <laughs> oh, poor <Rick. laughs> Oh god, here we go again. Hey, hey. Mia, you're literally going to kill Higa every single time he eats your chocolate. That sounds so wrong. I'm sorry. Mia, oh my god, you, you, oh, Jesus. Yes, have the best girl eat your chocolate and die. I mean, mm. Yana, yeah, no, don't eat that chocolate, please. Honestly, it looks really good. <laughs> oh, God. Or you could go to his house, give it to his parents, and tell his parents to give it to him. Girl, if you eat your own chocolate, I mean... But at least she knows what's in it. Instead of Higa, because when Higa ate that shit, mm mm.
Yeah, well, she's close to eating her own chocolate. Oh shit, she ate it! Honestly, that look good. Can I have some? Is she about to meet the, the guy that, like, yeah! <laughs> Bruh, stop it. She's a Valentine. So what? She gonna end up in like Christmas? <laughs> oh God. I can't. Valentine. This Valentine is going to keep crying. What did she do? Oh god, no. She's gonna tell him how she feels about him, and then he's gonna wake up. <laughs> Hello, worried. Oh. <laughs> you got 
Tommy, you got yelled at too. <laughs> That's a good question, because I feel like Mia may not cook again. Oh, poor baby. You ask her another day. Oh. Oh. He Oh. It's a cute! Stop it! <laughs> you cute! Yes, I love it so much. Mia, you sure, though? Yeah. Hey, see ya. Still, no matter what, those two also belong together. With their weird debt relationship. <laughs> but it suits them, though. It's weird. <laughs> Until now. I don't, still, I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah. It's cute. Um, It was interesting that front. Because, you know, the, here's the biggest thing that I was wondering. I think it was like a couple of episodes ago. Maybe even last week. Um, If Mia was ever going to meet Valentine. And it fucking. <laughs> Maybe not in the way that I wanted, but I was just like, for a moment, I was like, is she gonna go see him? And then, boom, like, that was some penguin drum type-ish. <laughs> and I honestly couldn't. <laughs> I can't with this anime. I love it so much, but still, like, what the fuck was this episode? And we still got one more to watch. But this is good. Having, you know... Both Higa and Mia together talking to Valentine just for a little bit. <laughs> it was cute, but <laughs> the fact that the whole time while those two were talking, Valentine just like, sob, sob, sob. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Shit, stop it. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Then go ahead and do it. Just give me my damn Hina in, in, you know, Raccoon Story. That's all I want. I just want a whole episode, 24 minutes, with Hime. Just give me that. Hime. I meant, I said Higa, but I meant Hime. Give me my 24 minutes of Hime. That's all I want. I mean, if you gave me, like, okay, you gave me 12 episodes of School Babysitters, which was the best thing that, like, besides, like, um... Some of the other animes that were my personal favorite shows that I reacted to when I finished them. But School Babysitters. 12 episodes of babies. You can give me one. Just one episode on Hime. That's all I want. That is just, seriously, honestly. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm glad that Mia, <laughs> Mia 
you met Valentine because we all knew it was going to happen. I, I was kind of speculating maybe like the last two episodes of the show. But who knows what else is going to be in store from episodes nine to the finale. But, you know, we ain't going to know until we get there. But, yeah, I mean, I'm glad that, you know, Yana and What's Your Face were there to talk to her. To talk to them and just be there for, like, moral support. And, you know, Naga was very close to, you know, telling her feelings to Higa. Even though Higa, like, woke up right in time. So, I don't think... I feel like now, like, probably going into the last two episodes of the series, I don't think she'll she'll possibly confess again. Because, you know, when you try to confess once, 50 out of 50, you may not get that second chance. So, really, who knows? But, yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 8. Okay, episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh my god, she ha <laughs> What's up? Huh? Stop. Oh my god, that's so mean. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, Higa, you could have just said no, you know, thanks, but no thanks. Like, let her down easy. I mean, oh my god. <laughs> or, you know what, maybe it's like, it won't be a date. Maybe Mia just wants to prove something, possibly. I don't know. I mean, I, it could be anything. It could be a date date, and then it could be just like, hey, let's just hang out for a couple of hours and such, and then you can go home <laughs> you regret it. I mean, okay. Yes. But with... Come here, Cody. Come here. Come here. Look at her. Maybe a pillow, too. Hi, baby. What's up? Oh. <laughs> Well, 
yeah, because, you know, her mom has bigger boobs than you. <laughs> and you probably never had. <laughs> You know, Kisa, honestly, what type of relationships have you had with a guy? But I mean, yeah, of course, you know, he means there. So, of course, you got pregnant by somebody. I mean. Yeah. Okay, I, I mean. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I mean, but that's not the only thing. You get to talk to them about, you know, your once, your your future and stuff. If you have a future together. Um. Of course. Uh huh. Uh huh. You gonna be going through this until the day you die. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, Higa. What if something actually sparks? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that feels yeah mm. <laughs> you would think she would be happy <laughs> You just basically tolerate her. I mean, that's all. Yeah, maybe you guys should just, what, go take a cooking class somewhere? <laughs> oh, this is like that one episode of Gamers, oh my god. Stop. Ha! <laughs> 
help her, please? Because, oh my god. There you go. But you wanted it, though! Hey, best girl. What the hell? Where? Why? Biscuits. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you need to talk to Saki. I mean, you know, it's a language barrier. You're you're speaking Japanese and he speaks English. <laughs> oh god, just uh that language barrier. I, I feel so bad for the people for the one show that I watch where people go travel around the world and then go to Japan and someone's like you know, do you speak English? And they're like, no! <laughs> oh my god! That is my biggest freaking fear. Going somewhere and I don't know a language. And I'm like, how can I communicate with you? Well, he's doing good. Oh my god. She's right though. Yeah, but how much does he eat? Are you basically... Uh, <laughs> I 
play. Nope, we ain't doing that. Oh, no, don't be sorry. <laughs> well, yeah. It's not going to kill him, right? No comment. I mean, damn, these girls on this show, like, <laughs> I mean, why did you just be excited instead of, like, looking like you about to kill him? Oh, my God. Y'all a little too rough. <laughs> I mean, if that's her angry, I would hate to see her when she's, like, sad. I mean, because she has a resting bitch face. So, I, I mean, I know how that feels. Oh, God. Well, uh, yeah, I have no idea what you could do.
Did you buy it though? Oh, okay. Okay, good. For you. Mm-hmm. Uh, but hold on. It, it's store-bought chocolate. That chocolate ain't gonna kill you like her. Okay, now try it. Come on. Don't worry, they'll make up. We may not see it, because I know we only have a couple more minutes left, but probably next week. What's up, Mia? Now... a good oh well that sucks maybe you know your taste buds I, I mean cause like it can happen or do, do you have corona <laughs> I'm kidding though cause this was made way 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 before corona but seriously you know the fact is the biggest thing is if you can't taste anything that's one of the big problems or you can't even smell anything but maybe yeah it just could be your taste buds maybe you're just used to her chocolate and it seems like that he gets just so used to Mia's chocolate that if he eats another type of chocolate that is store-bought maybe milk chocolate dark chocolate white chocolate um chocolate with nuts Chocolate with caramel, chocolate with coconuts. Who? Why would you eat chocolate and coconuts? That's freaking disgusting. Don't do that. That's why I don't like those Girl Scout cookies with the coconut. Like, no. So gross. Like, I, it's, ha. <laughs> no. All my friends were like, yeah, these are good. I'm like, no, I don't like crunchy. Like, mm, I only, cr I like, cr the only crunchy thing I like in my sweets is crispy rice. That's it. I hate coconut. No matter what people tell me. Oh, it's good, DJ. No, it's not. It's so nasty. Like, ah, uh, no. Like, ugh. God, no. Well, yeah. I, I wouldn't eat hand cream. Please, because we don't need this child. No! Mia, Mia, no, but yeah, that's good. That's possibly what it could be because the fact is, he's so used to Mia's chocolate. Any other chocolate that he possibly could have. And I think that's something that they really should test out in the next episode. Because the fact is, you know, you get to the end of this one. He's like, yeah, I, my taste buds are weird. Even though he doesn't say it, it says it in, you know, the wording and such. But then you're like, okay, then yeah. You want to try, like, some chocolate ice cream? Do you want just straight chocolate syrup? It's like that. Like, 
anything like store bought or like even a chocolate macaron or chocolate ice cream. I mean, not ice cream, icing or chocolate cake. Anything that's chocolate, literally try it on his ass and be like, okay, can you eat this? But yeah, I mean, honestly, this is a good episode. <laughs> Seeing these two uh, hang out more, I mean, even as a date and even with <laughs> Me, I was like, do you want to kiss? And he's like, well, hell no. Like, mm -mm. But then he apologized the next day and brought her money to pay for his <laughs> But still, he should have stayed and walked her home. Like, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I mean, because, you, you know, you can't have a girl walk home by herself. You don't know what's happening unless, you know, she really got, like, a knife, a taser. Um, that one thing I've been seeing on TikTok very recently, that thing that, you know, that's a keychain thing. And you pull the thing and next, you know, become a staff and you can kick some really good ass with it. I don't know. I would literally want that because your girl be... <laughs> Either that or I take, you know, um, my keys... And you use it as like a freaking poking device and you just smoke the crap out of them. You do whatever you need to do to survive out there. That's why I don't really like going outside at night by myself. No. But yeah, both episodes are really good. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice episode 7 and 8 of season 4 of Working. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.